Yo, what's up, guys? I'm here with my Baby Yoda, is its name, a 1992 Toyota pickup. Hilux, depending on where you're at. I'm gonna be changing the radio on it. This one's got a broken radio. It turns on, but like doesn't play any music or anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out with this one I got on Amazon for like 30 bucks. It has Bluetooth, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. It's gonna be awesome. I also got like $30 speakers on Amazon. I'll show you guys those, and I'm just gonna try to take the dash apart and install it in here. All right guys, so I'm sitting in the car now. So what I'm gonna do is just start taking off the lower dash panels um, so I can get to the speakers and also get to the stereo. I'm not gonna probably show too much of it. It's just like, it seems like a bunch of like Phillips head screws. There's maybe a couple fir trees and there's some uh, nuts and bolts that use a 10 millimeter socket. So get your tools, um, just start taking out screws, fir trees, whatever you can find. I'll show you a few before I take them out but I'm just going to start taking that stuff off. Yeah, so I was just looking at it again, and it looks like we're also going to have to take the glove box off, so I'll probably start there. So to me, I'm on the passenger side. It looks like I have to take off this panel before I can take out this big panel with the glove box on it. I took four screws and one bolt out of here so far, and it's loose but it's hitting right here. So I'm gonna take this panel out too. All right guys, so I took that little corner piece off down there and then this guy came out, the whole thing uh, on this side with the glove box and everything. It was four screws, one bolt in that lower corner and then there was one clip holding it on so you just have to kind of pull it out of there. And then there's our speaker. So I'm just gonna replace this, wire it up to that Move on. And on the driver's side now, and as far as I can tell, it has the same as the passenger five or four screws one, two, three, and then there's one up there, four, and then one. 10 millimeter socket bolt or nut right there and I believe that's it I'm gonna try to take it out now and there you go it was just those four screws that one bolt a little bit of finagling and it came down and it also brought this uh, little cover with it but this just clips on so I'll just clip it back on later all right guys now that the passenger and driver side panels are off it looks like I need to take off these middle panels to get to the stereo so I think I'm gonna have to start down here. I believe those are fir trees. So I got a little fir tree puller. Um, take that off and then I'm gonna move up here. I know there's some clips around the top. I don't know if there are any other screws. So if I find anything, I'll let you guys know. Sure enough guys, just a couple fir trees to get that one out. They go on these little brackets right here. One on this side, one on the other side. So once you've ever taken everything off that I've taken off, there is one more screw right up there then we should be able to pop this whole panel off. All right, sure enough, dudes took that last screw out and this is starting to pop out. So I'm just gonna gently pop it out without try, try not to break anything, you know? Taking that piece off was pretty easy. Um, there's just a few clips that I had to pull out. So just be gentle. This thing slides out from behind it. So be gentle not to break that. And then now I'm gonna take off the stereo. So I think I'm just gonna start taking these brackets off and see how I can get the other stereo to fit. So this just had one of these brackets on each side with a screw holding it in here. So I just took those off, came right out. So I'm gonna try to fit the other one now. It's starting to come together. I haven't wired anything up yet. I was just test fitting the uh, stereo itself. What I found was it was a little too skinny to fit, but I just took the top screw out on each side so I could like force these brackets apart and put this in. And now it looks like the screws will go back in too. So I just had to loosen it up to get it in there. Um, I feel like I might test fit the, the front piece, front plastic piece first, and then move on from there. I test fitted the new stereo and it looks like it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some wire clippers and I'm gonna start clipping away at these wires and get this old stereo out. So I can start wiring up the new one and install it. It 
It's been a little bit. I'm back at it. I got all this wired up. So I just wrapped these up and then hit them with some of this uh, shrink tape stuff. So connection should be good. Some of these I did two to one. So these speakers should be able to handle the outputs from the front and rear. So I just connected them together. And then I just took off this section right here because I have a microphone that works with the Bluetooth on the radio. So I'm going to run the microphone up here and put it right up there. Hide the wire behind here and then underneath all the way to the radio. So here's where I'm at. I got everything uh, plugged in and wired up, including the little microphone. I just kind of zip tied it under the uh, heating and vent, heat venting and cooling or whatever it's going through. Um, the next thing is I need to try to install the plastic back. But the main issue is that uh, the bracket doesn't really work for this radio. It fits in there width wise, but the holes don't line up and I'm trying to get the uh, little storage area beneath to fit also. So I'm just gonna fiddle around with it for a bit and when I figure out something, I'll show you guys. I ended up finding a couple holes on the uh, side of the radio that I think are gonna work. So it, they're not really screw holes, but I'm gonna use a uh, self-tapping screw. So hopefully it works. They line up with the bracket okay, but the squares are like, I don't really know what they are. They're like little square holes and they don't look like there's any electronics behind them. So hopefully it's okay. All right guys, I test fit everything and it seems to be working okay. So I'm gonna tighten down all these screws and add these ones back on the bracket. I had to take the uh, cover off of here to get the centerpiece back in. So I'm gonna put that on the centerpiece when I put it in. And I also had to loosen up this top piece, which is just a clip behind it, so that I could fit under this side. So I'm gonna just start putting everything back together. I'll show you guys in a little bit. There she is, guys. It's not perfect by any means, but it's definitely better than having a broken radio. All right, guys, it's back installed. All appears to be working. I wish I could play some music for you, but it's playing off my phone, so. It doesn't sound super great, but I mean, for a $30 stereo and $30 speakers, can't complain too much. Thanks for checking it out, you guys. Hopefully this was like kind of helpful. Um, it was definitely a project. I mean, I'd say give it a full day or like two half days, but. All right, well, I'm, I, th I think I'm going to keep doing some, like, 90s. Uh, I got a 92 Toyota pickup, so I think I'm going to keep doing 92 Toyota pickup projects. So if you guys want some more, let me know.